Okay, here's the GP9 South Orient Locomotive 103. I believe at one time they had four of these units, and this is the only one that's left from my understanding. And there you see the uh, wigwag signal, which they've uh, added here. Let me see if I can zoom this in. It's been a while since I've used this camera. There we go. So there's the old wigwag that they got in. And I can tell that's a new addition because the concrete slab it's sitting on is uh, fairly freshly poured. Okay, here's our old Santa Fe boxcar. You can see here the super shock control boxcars that they had back in the day. And we'll move on down here to the caboose. Let's see if I can get this thing out of the sun. There's the caboose, the old Santa Fe, uh, looks like a long steel caboose. And then of course we have the 44 tonner locomotive, switcher locomotive, that Santa Fe used on this old rail line. It's my understanding that the Santa Fe gave up the rights to the railway again and it was taken over by the South Orient and then the South Orient finally folded and the railway became abandoned and it was taken over by the Texas Department of Transportation until recently when the line was leased by Texas Pacifico Transportation who is also located here in San Angelo, Texas. Now that's one of the trains I was waiting to hopefully get some footage of, but looks like that's not going to happen now. And behind me, you see here some of the depot. I'm not sure how uh, well the lighting is here. It's the first time I've used this camera in this kind of lighting. As you can see, it's a fairly nice depot. It's in pretty good shape for as old as it is. Again, it was built in 1910. It's a two-story brick structure, which at the time of its construction, I understand was the largest building here in San Angelo. Try to back up some more here and let you get a better view of it. I think we're completely zoomed out. But it's a real nice structure. We're happy with it here in San Angelo. And again, upstairs there's uh, the local railway club here, or model railroad club, I guess I should say. There's the old Santa Fe logo up there between the windows. So if you ever make it down to San Angelo, Texas, sure to stop by and check out our uh, train station. And, uh, I believe it's open on Saturdays noon to 5 p.m. and the admission is four dollars for adults, two dollars for children under the age of 12. I think. Okay and again we'll pan here and try to get a view of this train we have on display. two main lines here that run through the depot, although I believe Texas Pacifico only uses the one inner rail here close to the depot. If you look on down the track there, where it crosses Chadburn Street, uh, which the address here of the Santa Fe Depot is 703 Chadburn, uh, you'll see the old freight station down there to your left. I'll get down here and try to zoom in a little more here. Let me get stopped here. So. Looks like somebody's having some fun with their tires. There's the old freight depot. Now that's where they uh, brought in all the freight that came into San Angelo. And then across the street, 
you look over here I'm told that was an old farmers market back in the day and also a lot of the freight that came into San Angelo and going out of San Angelo went through this building here it's actually more of a giant gazebo rather than a building it's been restored and the town now uses it for dances and other events so let's get back here to the information on the train let's I'll try to get down here a little closer so you can check out the freight station try to get a shot of the uh, I guess it would be the east side of the building the depot Again, I apologize for not being able to get a some footage of the Texas Pacifico that was supposed to come through, but for some reason, uh, it sounds like on a scanner they headed back to the yard down there on 28th Street, so uh, I won't have that footage for you today, unfortunately. So there's the old uh, freight terminal, which is now a senior citizen's. Uh, club. They've got several events that they do there daily for the senior citizens here in town. There's your depot. And then, of course, across the street is another part of the senior citizen. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the railroad. But, and then across the street from it, you can see where local artists have painted some really nice murals on the side of the building there. There's an old train. The old uh, original depot, that burnt down years ago. And then of course you have the stagecoach there. But this is uh, Chadburn Street here in old San Angelo. It's a great little town. Population with the base uh, from my last understanding is about 90,000, so we're under 100,000 here. Okay, so let's get turned around here and try to get another view of the station. So, there you have it. The old Santa Fe Passenger Depot here in San Angelo, Texas. Thanks, and like I said, if you're ever in the area, stop on by and check it out. Have a great day.